Hi friends, welcome to our mathematics program for grade 7. In the last session we talk about fractions. We have seen together how to convert fractions, how to reduce them to a, its lowest term. We have talked about equivalent fractions and we have seen together how to compare fractions. Now in today's session we shall talk about the four operations that is the addition, the subtraction, the multiplication and the division, right? We shall see how to apply these four operations on fractions and finally we shall see how to tackle word problems involving fractions. To start with we shall see the addition and subtraction of fractions. Now suppose that you have the following 2 over 7 plus 3 over 7. How do you tackle that? Now, first thing that you need to do is to check whether the denominators are the same. In our case, they are. So you only need to add the numerators, right? That is 2 over 7 plus 3 over 7, which is 5 over 7. So that's easy. Let's take another example with subtraction. Suppose that you have 5 over 12 minus 3 over 12. How do you do that? Now, first step, always you check the denominators. Are they the same? Yes, they are. So you just need to subtract the numerators. 5 minus 3, which is 2. That is 2 over 12. Now, remember, you need to reduce to its lowest term. 2 over 12, which is simply 1 over 6. That's the answer. Now, what happens when the denominator are not the same? For example, let's say that you need to calculate 2 thirds plus 1 fifth. Now, the denominators, they are not the same, right? What you need to do is simply make them the same. How do you do that? Now, we use the LCM. Remember, the LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. Right? So you have 2 thirds plus 1 fifth. How do you do 3 to make it become 15? So you need to multiply by 5. If you multiply the denominator by 5, you need to multiply the numerator as well by 5. Now, 5 to become 15, you will multiply by 3. Don't forget to multiply the numerator by 3. So you have 10 over 15 plus 3 over 15. Are the denominators the same? Yes. What do you do? You just add the numerators. 10 plus 3, which is 13. So the answer is 13 over 15. Now, suppose that you want to calculate 1 over 12 plus 3 fifth. What do you need to do? You check the denominator. Are they the same? No. So, we make them the same. One way to do it, either you use the LCM or simply you multiply the, the two denominators together. 12 times 5, that is 60, right? Now, you need to convert the two fractions to a common denominator of 60, right? How do you do that? 12 to become 60 is simply 12 times 5. Remember, you multiply the denominator by 5, you need to multiply the numerator by 5. 5 times 12 is 60, you need to multiply the 3 by 12. So that's 5 over 60 plus 36 over 60, which is 41 over 60. Let's take another one. 7 over 8 minus 2 third. First thing, always check the denominator. Are they the same? No, they are not. Make them the same. The LCM of 8 and 3 is 24. Now, don't forget, if you multiply a denominator by 3, you need to multiply the numerator by 3. Okay? The same goes for the 8. Now, let's see. You've got 7 over 8 minus 2 third. Right. Now, the denominator is 8 and 3, 
We said that we need to have a common denominator, which is 24, 8 times 3, so you multiply the 7 by 3. The same for the 2 third times 8 in the denominator, you multiply by 8 in the numerator. So you have 21 over 24 minus 16 over 24, which is simply 5 over 24, which is the answer. Now, what happens when we need to add and subtract mixed numbers? Now, let's see the addition and subtraction of mixed numbers, right? How will you do that? Now, when we need to add or subtract mixed numbers, we do the following. The first step, you separate whole numbers and fraction within brackets. That's the first step. Second, you add or subtract the whole numbers first. And then you add or subtract the fractions. Right. Let's see an example. Suppose that you have to calculate 4, 7 over 11, minus 1 and 1 quarter. Right, we have two mixed numbers. What do we do? The first step, you separate the whole numbers and the fractions within brackets. Right, what are the whole numbers? 4 and 1, okay? So that will be 4 minus 1 within brackets, and the second brackets will be 7 over 11 minus 1 quarter. Second step, you perform the subtraction for both the whole numbers and the fractions. Now that will be 4 minus 1, which is 3, 7 over 11 minus 1 quarter. Right? Remember, 7 over 11 minus 1 quarter, the denominators are not the same. You do the LCM. LCM of 11 and 4 is simply 44. So that will be 3 plus 28 over 44 minus 11 over 44, which is 3 plus 17 over 44. Right? You add the terms. That's 3 plus 17 over 44, which is the answer. Another example, a bit harder one this time. You've got three mixed numbers, right? And you need to add and subtract. What do we do? First step, you separate the whole numbers and the fraction. Now, the whole numbers are 3, 2, and 4. So that will be 3 plus 2 minus 4. Now, for the fractions, we've got 4 fifths plus 3 over 7 minus 1 third. Right. You perform the addition or subtraction for a 3 plus 2, which is 5, 5 minus 4, which is 1. And then you do the same for the fractions. Now, be careful. You've got 5, 7, and 3 as denominators. Right? So you need to do the LCM exactly. One thing which is a bit easier here is see that you've got 5, 7 and 3. Okay? So what do you do in the denominator? You just put it like that. 5 times 7 times 3. Why? Because see the 5 here and the 5 here just hide it. You're left with what? 7 times 3. Right? 7 times 3 which is 21, it's easier for you to multiply 21 by 4, that is 84. Same for here. You hide the 7, you have 5 times 3, which is 15, and 15 times 3, that is 45, right? And you continue. So you've got 1 plus 84 over 105, plus 45 over 105, minus 35 over 105. You simplify it, and you add the term. 1 plus 94 over 105, that is 194 over 105. That's the answer. Now, that's my favorite. Why? Because multiplication of fractions is the easiest. 
okay? Right. Why is it? Simple. You just need to multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominators. And that's it. Now, don't forget, you should always reduce to its lowest term where possible. Now, let's take an example. Suppose that you have to do 5 times 7 over 11. How do you do that? Now, remember, you need to multiply the numerators and the denominators, right? But 5, we can also write it as 5 over 1, okay? So, 5 over 1 times 7 over 11, what do you do? Simple, 5 times 7, which is 35, and 1 times 11 is 11. So, 35 over 11, that's an improper fraction. Always, in case of improper fraction, you need to give your answer as a mixed number. So that will be 3 and 2 over 11. Let's take another one. So you've got 4 over 11 times 3 over 8. Simple. What do you do? You multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominators. So that will be 4 times 3 over 11 times 8. Right? 4 times 3 is 12. 11 times 8 is 88. Don't forget, always reduce to its lowest term. That will be 3 over 22, which is the answer. Now, let's take another method, which is a bit simpler. Now, what do we do? We first reduce to its lowest term. That is, the 4, right, you can divide it. 4 divided by 4, which is 1, and 8 divided by 4, which gives you 2. Right? So, what do you need to do now? You multiply the numerators and the denominators. 1 times 3, 1 times 3, which is 3. 11 times 2, which is 22. So, you've got the answer, 3 over 22. Now, let's, let's take another example. Suppose that you have 2 and 1, 8, times 6 over 10, times 1 quarter. What do we have in that example? You've got a mixed number. Now remember, in case of mixed number, we need to convert it into improper fractions. Exactly. So, 2, 1 over 8, how do you convert that? That will be 8 times 2, which is 16, and 16 plus 1, that is 17. So, we have 17 over 8 times 6 over 10, right? Times one quarter. What do we do now? We multiply the numerators and the denominators. So that will be 17 times 6 times 1 divide by 8 times 10 times 4. You multiply the numerators, you get 102 over 320. Remember, you reduce to its lowest term, so that will be 51 over 160. Now, do you have another method to do that? Yes, we have. What do we do? First step remains the same. That is, you convert mixed number to improper fractions. And then, what do we do? We reduce to its lowest term first. That is, how do you reduce that to its lowest term? You divide the 6 by 2, so that will be 3, and you divide the 4 by 2, which is 2. And then, you multiply the numerators and the denominators. That is 17 times 3 times 1 over 8 times 10 times 2, which is simply 51 over 160. Both methods lead to the same answer. Now, we've seen addition, subtraction, and multiplication, right? We are left with division. To do the division of fractions, we've got a method. What does it say? It's simple. Keep it, change it, and flip it. Remember, when you have division of fraction, it's simply keep it, change it, and flip it. Now, you may be wondering, 
what do I keep, what do I change, and what do I flip? Let's see. Suppose that you have half divided by 3 over 2. How do you proceed? The first one, remember, was keep it. That's it. So you will keep what you keep the first fraction, half. The second one was you change it. What do you change? You change the division into multiplication. Always change the division into multiplication. So what do we have? Half times or multiply. The third one is what? Flip it. What do you flip? You flip the second fraction. So that will be half times two-third. Okay? Now, that's a simple multiplication. Right? What do we do? We multiply the numerators and we multiply the denominators. One times two, which is two, and two times three is six. Now, do we leave the answer like this? No, never. What do we need to do? Reduce to its lowest term. 2 over 6 is simply 1 third. And that's the answer. Let's take another one. You've got 2 and 1 fifth divide by 3. What happened here is that you have 2 and 1 fifth, which is a mixed number. What do we do in case of mixed number? Always convert to improper fractions. So, 11 over 5, divide by 3. Remember, division, what do we do? Keep it, change it, flip it. What do we keep? We keep 11 over 5. What do we change? Division to multiplication. And then you flip 3, which becomes 1 third. So that will be 11 over 5 times 1 over 3. What do we do now? You evaluate, that is, you multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominators. 11 times 1 is 11 and 5 times 3 is 15. Let's take another one. Now, what do we have here? We've got 2 and a half plus 3 fifths, but these two are within brackets. What do we do? Now, some time back, you've done order of operations. And in order of operations, what did we say? We say that you always do brackets first, exactly. So that will be 2 and a half plus 3 fifth. That's what you need to do first. Now, 2 and a half is a mixed number, right? So we need to convert it to improper fractions. 5 over 2 plus 3 fifth. Are the denominators the same? No, they are not. What do we do? We make them the same. LCM of 2 and 5 is 10. So, we have 25 over 10 plus 6 over 10 times 3 over 7. Now, 25 over 10 plus 6 over 10 is 31 over 10 times 3 over 7. What do we do? We multiply 31 times 3, which is 93, and 10 times 7, that is 70. Remember to convert it to a mixed number. Now, the last part will be on problems, word problems involving fractions. How do you do that? Let's see. Suppose that we have, in a class of 30 students, one-fifth of them likes playing basketball, two-third like volleyball, and the rest badminton. The question you are asked is to find how many students like badminton. Now, let's see what we have in this question. We have a class of 30 students, right? The fraction who like playing basketball is one-fifth. The other fraction that we have for volleyball is two-third, right? Let's put it. So we have total number of students is 30. The number of students who like basketball is one-fifth times 30. One-fifth is the fraction. The total number of students is 30. So one-fifth times 30, which is 6, right? For volleyball, you do the same thing. That is two-thirds 
times 30, which is 20. So what do we have? We have six students who like basketball, and we've got 20 students who like volleyball. Thus, the number of students who like basketball and volleyball is 20 plus 6, which is 26. Remember, in the class we had 30 students. So, how many students like badminton? It's simply 30 minus 26, which is 4. Simple. Right, here you've got some additional exercises for practice. You've got the first one you need to evaluate and give your answer in its lowest term, right? A second one, same thing, evaluate and give your answer in its lowest terms. And a third one, which is on word problems involving fractions. Okay? So, what have we seen today? Dear friends, we have seen how to add, subtract, multiply and divide fractions. Okay? For the division, we have used the keep it, change it and flip it method. We have seen also how to tackle word problems involving fractions. Now remember, in, when you work with fractions, you always need to reduce the fractions in its lowest term. Okay? What you need to do now is go for the exercises in your textbook, okay, and in this video. That's it, dear friends. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.